The inaugural IPL in 2008 was a mind-blowing success. The very next edition though was denied by the government of India to be conducted in our country as it was clashing with the general elections to be conducted in 2009. Yet the BCCI made it happen not in India but in South Africa and that too caught the fans with the same excitement and high with such phenomenal success the IPL led by Lalit Modi decided to take the ball higher and already introduced two new teams in order to make the league bigger and bring in more money so they announced the launch of two new teams just before the 2010 IPL which meant that the fourth edition of the tournament in 2011 will now be a 10 team event with more matches than earlier this quick overconfidence and greed of the BCCI led to many complications and embarrassment for the board and Lalit Modi himself where he was finally discarded from the league he commissioned himself just 3 years back hello friends my name is divyang jain i'm a professional cricketer turned sports entrepreneur therefore sports and its business are two things i'm most passionate about and in this video we will talk about kochi tuskers an ipl team that could last just for one year and had a bag load of problems to deal with before we begin if you're new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed i humbly request you please subscribe and join the power network family now let's continue continuing with the intention to rapidly expand the league BCCI introduced two new IPL teams with some prolific bidders like Adani Enterprises and Videocon Enterprises. Sahara Group, led by the infamous Subrata Roy, won the ownership of one of the new teams with a whopping bid of three seventy million dollars, or about one thousand seven hundred and two crores, in twenty ten. And the second team ownership went to a consortium of multiple owners. The bid was led by a company called Rendezvous Sports Private Limited. The CEO of the company, Shailendra Gaikwad. also one of the members of the elite families of baroda had been deeply inclined to cricket since childhood growing up he invested in and organized tournaments to promote local and upcoming players until recently where he was a part owner of the kochi franchise of ipl an ipl team was his most significant investment in sports industry he along with other partners invested in the kochi ipl team some of the other investors in the consortium were Mehul Shah and Chintan Vora of Anchor Switches company Mukesh Patel and Vipul Shah of Parine Developers based out of Mumbai Saket Mehta of Anand Sham Estates and Developers and Vivek Venugopal of Film Waves Combines Private Limited apparently the then union minister of state and external affairs Shashi Tharoor whose native state is Kerala insisted the consortium to choose the Kochi franchise as he saw great potential in an IPL team from Kerala hence by paying the second highest bid of 333.3 million dollars or 1533 crores to acquire the team they call this team Kochi Tuskers Kerala the team signed the likes of Brendan McCallum Mutaya Murli Dharan Parthiv Patel Ravindra Jadeja Shrishant and VVS Lakshman after the team got into its first IPL season in 2011 they had a very disappointing run where they eventually finished in the bottom 3 with just 6 victories in their 14 games The poor performance was just the start of a bitter experience for the owners that was to follow. The team was already battling a massive controversy regarding the owners that had broken out in early 2010 when Lalit Modi had revealed via Twitter that Shashi Tharoor, the then Union Minister of State and External Affairs, had misused his office to ensure that 70 crore, which was equivalent to 19% equity in one of the owners of IPL Kochi franchise team, Rendezvous Sports World Private Limited was paid to Sunanda Pushkar his late wife however Tharoor failed to prove that the Congress minister was not involved therefore he lost his ministerial position due to this tweet and many other fraud and disciplinary charges Lalit Modi was axed from the IPL and the BCCI posts Kochi Tuskers problems were then compounded by other off-field issues that affected their revenues. Ticket sales at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Kochi suffered because of a dispute between the owners and the local municipal authorities over taxes. The Kerala Cricket Association's proposed international stadium, which would have been the franchise's new home, was denied building permission by the central government on environmental grounds. The multiple owners with no prior experience of running a team together constantly had a lot of tussles with regards to the ownership and the management of the team. Prior to the next season to be conducted in 
बीसीसीआई डिमांडेड द टीम टू पे देयर शेयर अ 10 परसेंट बैंक गारंटी सम ऑफ रुपीज वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स क्रोर द ओनर्स ऑफ कोची टस्कर्स व मिफ दैट द बी सी सी आई डिड नॉट कट डाउन ऑन द फ्रेंचाइजी फीस डिस्पाइट रिड्यूसिंग द नंबर ऑफ मैच इन द आई पी एल फोर फ्रॉम नाइनटी फोर टू सेवेंटी फोर ड्यू टू अ पैक इंटरनेशनल कैलेंडर द नंबर ऑफ गेम्स इन द टेंडर डॉक्यूमेंट वॉज नाइनटी फोर they had then reduced it to 74 but did not reduce the franchisee fee this claim led to their non payment of the franchisee fees demanded by the bcci finally in the month of september 2011 the bcci terminated the franchisee due to their non payment of pending dues the matters did not end here though the owners of kochi tuskers approached the court and by 2015 the bcci was found guilty and were ordered to pay a compensation of 550 crores with an 18% annual penalty for non payment to the owners kochi owners though were lesser interested in the compensation and were looking for a re entry in the ipl yet bcci was in no mood for that until 2017 bcci made no payments to the owners therefore the owners won an arbitration case seeking a 8 50 crore compensation which the board had to finally agree and pay this was the story of kochi tuskers the short lived ipl saga of a team that was sold for a very high price surrounded itself with multiple controversies and eventually costed a bomb for the bcci to get rid of that's it for today folks i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel for more such amazing content don't forget to check out this playlist to find out more about the other ipl owners until next time thank you